Most people would think that this is just digging a hole. It's actually digging a very complex hole. Being the first one in, I have to get it right. I have to be able to create a space that other contractors can come in without any problems and go straight vertical. Digging up an area in the middle of the uh, city of Austin, you just know you're going to dig up stuff that nobody knew was there. Well, the Capitol Complex project came about to help reduce costs to the state of Texas by pulling in lease spaces from different areas in Austin and placing them inside the Capitol Complex. It's historic in its size in terms of any development that's ever been done on the Capitol Complex. It outpaces the, the Capitol extension that was built, you know, back in the 80s and 90s. Texas needed a new Capitol building. Kind of a grocery list of what it takes to dig a hole of this size in a large city like this. First thing would be figure out what's going through the hole that we want to dig. Utilities and excavation are really hard to separate. We had to get so many utilities out of it to be able to dig, and that was the hardest part of the whole project was the utilities. We had three phases of the excavation, and Congress was the last phase, which had probably 25 utilities that we knew about and another five or six that we came to find. We have thousands of people every day walking back and forth across our complex. And so there was a huge coordination effort by J.E. Dunn and TFC to control the traffic, make it safe, and get the trucks in and out. The amount of trucks on this job was just, uh, it was crazy at times. That excavator is loading up a truck every two or three minutes, nonstop. And we generally would start hauling right at six. We'd stop hauling at four, 4.30, and within that eight or nine hour period, we could put 200 to 250 trucks through a site. We finally came up with the idea that if we line these 13 yard trucks up from end to end, that they would probably stretch something like from Corpus Christi to Amarillo or something like that. So that kind of puts it in perspective for you. It's nice to be a part of Texas, to know that we do this, to know that we support our state employees um, and give them nice places to be in and work and environments. I think this project represents the state of Texas, one, in the fact it is grandiose, and it is a very large, very complicated project. There's a lot of construction going on and a lot of new projects in Austin. I think this one will stand as uh, a legacy to the history in the state of Texas.